Hi, this is Charlotte Reeves from Unleashed Education and you've tuned in to another editing quick tip where we share one little tip, trick or technique to help make your editing life easier. So in this session here, I was photographing this dog in some long grass and quite a few of these images have bits of long grass across in front of the subject, sometimes sort of overlapping over the subject, but also sometimes pointing directly at the subject. And I definitely want to get rid of those because they're quite distracting and they do take your attention away from the subject a bit because they're on the same plane of focus. They're actually quite sharp as well. So let's take this image into Photoshop and I'm going to show you a way to magically get rid of all this grass all at once. So you may have guessed by now that we're going to be using Photoshop's Content Aware to get rid of these pieces of grass. Now the thing with Content Aware is it works on a selection that you make. You always have to make a selection first. And in Photoshop, you've got a bunch of different selection tools you can use. The one that you might be most familiar with is the lasso tool, which just works like this. You basically just draw a shape or the patch tool, which basically works exactly the same as the lasso tool. You basically just draw a shape, but you can then click and drag elsewhere to replace the content in there. And that can also be in content aware mode. We're not going to be using the patch tool today, but the patch tool is one way to make a selection. So a few other options you've got for making selections, you can draw a rectangular marquee tool. So you can draw a rectangle. You can draw a circle, you can do a single row of pixels, you can use the magic wand tool to click and select areas of similar tone, bunch of different ways you can make a selection. One of the ways that people might not be aware of is the polygonal lasso tool. Now this lasso tool makes straight edged selections. And since grass is often quite straight and has straight edges, this is the perfect tool for selecting grass. How it works is you basically click to start the selection, move the mouse or move the pen on your tablet, click to make another point and basically just follow the shape of whatever you're selecting by making little clicks. Now you'll see I made a little square at the end there. That doesn't matter so much. It just has to be fairly, fairly close, but also not super accurate. So, and then back to the start to make the selection. Now that we've got this selection, we can use another handy feature of the selection tools in Photoshop. We can add to this selection and we can subtract. So say we wanted to select another piece of grass. We would just hold down shift and a little plus sign comes up uh, next to the tool icon. And we can then go, okay, I would like to add to the selection this piece of grass. And while I'm at it, I'm going to go around the outline for this piece of grass as well. Now to make this job easier and with the fewest steps possible, I'm going to select all the grass that I want gone first, and then we're going to do the content to wear. So let me just go ahead using that same technique and select the rest of the grass that I want gone. Now that was sped up, so it looked super speedy, but this is a really quick way of selecting grass using a straight edge line selection like the polygonal lasso tool. So now that I've got all these bits of grass selected, I'm just going to hit delete. It comes up with the fill dialog box. We just need to make sure content aware is selected. I always have color adaptation ticked and click okay. So that has basically, let me just deselect here, command D. That has basically removed all of those pieces of grass. Let's have a look when we brought it in and let's have a look now. Quickest and easiest way by far to remove distracting little pieces of grass over your subject and pointing to your subject in an image. I hope you found the technique of using the polygonal lasso tool helpful and I hope you're able to incorporate it into your own editing workflow. Thanks for joining me and I'll catch you for the next editing toolbox video. See you later.